I have a confession. I am a film fan that hasn't seen very much classic cinema. I know the white film boys are angry. They want to kick me in the jugular, I get it. But that is why I've started this video. I want to kind of rectify that issue. In this video, I'm going to select a classic film. I will outline what I understand about the film from the poster and the trailer and just little bits that I've picked up over the years. And then I will try and put together a plot or a summary and compare that to the actual film. So today's film will be Citizen Kane. So what do I know about Citizen Kane just off the top of my head? Literally the only thing I know about this film is this singular shot. It's the guy at the podium with the giant picture of Kane behind him. And so I'm thinking, is there something political here? Is he a political figure? And is there some sort of rally? That is literally all I have. And so to be kind to myself, I will look at the poster and the trailer for additional clues. I googled the poster and a million things came up. I'm guessing it's this one because it's also the one on Wikipedia and it kind of looks familiar. But my god, this poster is giving me nothing. Like, okay, there's a man and two women, like, and what about it? I can only imagine that the guy is in love with the blonde one and then maybe the one on the back is bitter. So was the political guy Kane doing some shenanigans where he was cheating? Hmm. I'm going to watch the trailer now. I watched the trailer and honestly it gave me nothing as well. It's literally just Orson Welles nattering and introducing the cast. And then he's about to outline the film and I wasn't sure in how much detail so I just stopped watching. I am screaming. I have no idea what the plot of this film is. I've given myself an extra lifeline. I'm looking at the synopsis but a very brief one. Is it cheating? No, I made up the rules. So from this synopsis what I understand is a reporter has gone to investigate Kane's last words, which were Rosebud. He has a friend and colleague called Jedediah and a mistress called Susan. So I was right about there being an affair element to this. And Charles Kane is this big newspaper guy. So I was completely wrong about the political rally. Very, very wrong. But I'm thinking maybe if he has a lot of power in the news cycle, maybe he has political influence. At first I thought the man on the poster was Kane, but now I'm thinking maybe that's the reporter. And one of these women is Kane's wife and the other is his mistress. Interesting that those three would be the ones on the poster. I also immediately thought that Kane died under suspicious circumstances, but the synopsis never actually says that. I just assumed that. So maybe he dies of natural causes, or it's meant to look natural. Surely if he's a big wig in the newspaper scene, maybe he's done some shady things? And I wonder why this reporter is investigating his last words. Perhaps he got assigned to this particular story as just a tribute piece and then discovering his last words became curious and fascinated and continued investigating beyond just the tribute piece he was meant to write. Does this reporter work for a newspaper that Kane owns? Could Rosebud be a nickname for maybe his wife or mistress? Could it have something to do with his death? Not some sort of poison from Rose, no? That seems a bit ridiculous. Or is it like a big metaphor? Like, Cain is the rosebud that grew, or rose out of obscurity. Rose out of obscurity is the phrase that the synopsis uses. Going back to that one image that I'm familiar with, I'm thinking maybe that's his funeral? It's a bit dramatic, but maybe that's why he's got such a big picture of him. And is his mistress a chorus girl? Orson Welles mentions chorus girls in the trailer. Why are there chorus girls? Or are the chorus girls just people that sing in the background? I don't actually know what a chorus girl is. This is so much harder than I thought it would be. I literally just don't know what is going on. I thought I'd be able to string together a plot or something, but I have nothing. It's just scrambly loose thoughts. I can hear the clack clack of your keyboards as you laugh at me on the internet. I'm so embarrassed. I truly have absolutely nothing. I, I'm just gonna have to watch the film now. Okay, so I have since watched Citizen Kane, and while I was watching, I made a few notes on my phone. So this will be a dramatic reenactment of my thoughts while watching. Oh snap, Kane owned more than newspapers, it seems he just kind of owned everything. So Susan is his wife, not his mistress. Hmm, the synopsis is misleading. Or is the fact that she's his mistress implied because he gets married to her so soon after his divorce? Oh, okay, so they decide to investigate his last words as a way to create a story that 
separates them from other newspapers. I thought that maybe he got to be where he was by dodgy dealing, but he seems to have just been offered gold mines and oil mines and he turned it down to rescue a failing newspaper. So the reporter really isn't the driving force that I thought he would be. He really is there just to investigate his last words. We don't even really see his face, so it can't be him on the poster. He exists mostly in shadows. And I was right, that giant picture of him is from a political rally. Okay, cool. At the start of the film, I thought that Kane would have political interests that are more conservative, rather than trying to appease the everyman. So that's interesting. And his wife has discovered the affair because of his political rival. So does this rival kill his wife and son? I mean, they do get a very threatening note. I didn't realise the story would be made up of so many flashbacks. I thought it would be more of an investigative thing, so very in the present day, and the reporter would be leading the story. But like I said, he exists mostly in shadows, so that role is not what I thought it would be. Oh, so there's nothing about his wife and son's death. Okay, so that just kind of happened. So having watched it, and you've just heard some of my thoughts that I wrote down while watching, I got a few things right and a few things wrong. So things I got right, I guess that there were political themes to this from that still image. And I guess that there was a political rally. Um, my second guess that it was his funeral was misguided. I think I was just clutching at straws and I doubted myself. Also, I did get the affair correct based on what I saw in the poster. And I was right in that his position at the newspaper did influence politics. He was able to inform how things operated and when um, and the outcome of things. And he also wanted to step into politics himself. Now I have watched Citizen Kane. I can tick it off my list finally. Um, I'm kind of scared to give my thoughts because I just don't want the film fans to come for my throat. I thought story-wise it was just very okay. I, I think I was expecting something like intricately woven and having all these clues and all this unfolding information about him. Um, but it, it wasn't quite that and that's on me for expecting something that the film didn't promise to be. Having said that, what we did get story-wise, it didn't compel me that much, but I did get into it a bit more in the second half than the first half. From a filmmaking perspective, it is impressive for the era and considering Orson Welles was 25, I'm also 25. Could I have made that now? I don't know. So he did a really great job in the filmmaking and the cinematography department and I love the way he played with shadows. I haven't seen loads of films from this era so I can't really compare how it stands up to them. I just think that from a visual point of view it's nice to look at. Story-wise and performance-wise, not my most favourite thing. I'm scared to give this a star rating because I feel like it's the type of thing people will cling on to and they will never let go. So I'll just leave my thoughts there and hopefully nobody will come for me because I didn't like fall over in love with this and Kane. I think it's great for what it was at the time but obviously I'm an audience from like 80 years later watching it with you know the gift of hindsight. But anyway, thank you for joining me in the process of watching Citizen Kane. I would love to know if you had watched it before, and if you had, do you love it like everybody else? And if you hadn't watched it before, like, what did you think the film was going to be about? What did you understand about it before watching this video? Feel free to check out my Patreon. Here are some of the things that I offer on there. So yeah, thank you for watching. Like if you would like to like. Subscribe if you would like to subscribe, and I will see you in the next one. Bye.